currency of the world. I am Beatrice Bracchi, I am a Brazilian journalist and researcher and founder of this NGO. Here you'll find content about hate speech, different types of extremism, and all these videos were produced by volunteers, by students. So please subscribe to our channel, give your like, follow us and spread the word. Today we'll talk about hate speech and digital media. across a racist message on Facebook or YouTube? You know those messages uh, saying that black people are inferior or saying that Jews are demoniac, that Jews are controlling the world? Yes, these messages are hate speech. Do you know what is hate speech? Hate speech uh, is that type of message that stigmatizes a certain group of people or an individual or also dehumanize these people or say that these people or individual is a threat. So for instance, when you come across a message saying that um, refugees are coming to Europe to take jobs, to take over everything, it is hate speech. You know, when you come across a message saying that um, homosexuals, they, they should not exist because they are not from this world, they are aliens or whatever, this message is dehumanizing homosexuals. It is hate speech. So what would you do, what should you do whenever you come across such messages? You have some options. The first, you should report it. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, they have this option. You don't, you, all, you, all you need to do is just click on, the, on those three dots that you see there and on the video, and then uh, choose the option Report It. So that is the first thing. The other thing is, guys, please, I know it's very tempting to share these messages. Um, even though you don't agree with those messages, many people share these racist messages because they want to warn their friends. But instead of combating and challenging this speech, you are fueling and contributing to it. <laughs> yes, because I don't know if you know, but social media is not impartial. Content in social media gets more, get, gets more visibility if you start sharing it. And then, all of a sudden, they are recommended to people because they become more visible, you know? So, if you start sharing this content, you are giving more visibility to it. And in certain extent, you are legitimizing that speech. So, I know it's tempting, I know it's difficult, but before sharing it, Think twice, report it, okay? So that is the first thing. And a third advice that I can give to you, it was not actually the first thing. So the first advice was report it. The second advice was don't share it. And the third advice is use social media for peace. You know, share content that really educate people on how to use social media responsibly. Because when these platforms emerged, nobody was educated to use it. We didn't know. And we are still learning because they are evolving. So we all must uh, join efforts to uh, challenge hate speech. We must act together. Okay? So I'm counting on you. Instead of sharing this content, share this video. Help your friends educate your community on how to use social media for it. Thank you so much for this time with me. And our next video, I'm going to explain what is the symbiotic system of fear. Have you ever heard this expression, symbiotic system of fear? Yes, we study this concept in international relations. And although it has everything to do with communication, 
I didn't learn about it when I was studying journalism, which is astonishing. Uh, so, in the next video I'm going to explain what is the symbiotic system of fear. In a nutshell, we have this feeling that journalists somehow contribute to this cycle of fear that we live nowadays. Now with the coronavirus, everybody is talking about this. And yes, you are right, journalists have their whole, have played some role in this, in this circle. So in the next video, I'm going to explain this. See you guys, and please share this message, share this video, give your like, give us visibility. Together, we can be all world.